think is the most extraordinary scientific mind that we've, you know, that, that humanity has produced? There is no contest. Isaac Newton. No, I, nothing. Nobody comes close. Explain why. He, working alone, discovers the laws of motion. Then he discovers the law of gravity, universal law of gravitation. Oh, and then someone asks, uh, uh, Ike, or I don't know what they call him, Ike, uh, <laughs> why do your planets orbit in this shape, ellipses, the ovals, rather than perfect circle? They say, I don't know, I, I'll get back to you. And he goes home, and he comes back, I finally have my answer. And they say, well, Isaac, how did you do that? Well, I had to invent integral and differential calculus <laughs> to answer that question. <laughs> he then discovers the laws of optics, deducing that white light is composed of colors. Because you could take those same colors, recombine them, and get white light, which freaked out artists of the day. So he does all of this. Then he turns 26.